hello everyone a warm good evening to all of you hope you are fine fine and well uh, uh, today we are here with this most uh, demanding and uh, valuable uh, precious unity that is your comparative politics yes comparative politics and and let me know that this unity is a very very important for our exam point of view because each and every uh, e- uh, the cycle they are asking the question from this unity and it uh, uh, very important because this is a comprehensive unity and most of time student are not able to answer this question so this is going to be very important okay the unity second here the comparative government and politics we are here to discuss the syllabus previous or question and the strategy to cover each and everything will going to cover in our this series named comparative politics and you are not uh, going to anywhere here will cover all the things with respect to comparative politics and after the last we will discuss uh, a most expected question be with us don't be late okay don't skip any module so so there is a telegram id that is tapas kumar pradhan ki patashala do join this telegram id for free pdf note content and the sometimes the valuable current fr input okay and if you are new our channel do subscribe and you have not subscribed till please subscribe and show your effort that will motivate to work for you guys only hope you will agree on this point and on this note let's start our today discussion that is the syllabus and previous question and strategy to the cover so without delay let's start our discussions dear learner we are here for this unity the comparative government and politics we will discuss the syllabus previous or question and strategy to cover this unity because it's very scoring unity and important for our examination if you are well with this unity then no one going to defeat you in examinations so that can we assure you here let me let me give you the real proof okay so here the year your wise uh, paper of your ssb and the number of question asked uh, from this unity in 2023 uh, december cycle they ask seven question from this unity in 2023 they also ask the pgt do you know that pgt also held in the year only 2023 and 2021 they ask 18 question 8 8 question from this unit and 2019 they ask 14 question how 14 question did they ask because that time the question is basically 165 okay then in 2016 they asked the 10 question so that is the importance of the question and why i am uh, showing this table because it will clear in your mind that how this unit is very important to all of us and this is a very responsible and the comprehensive unit that we have to uh, together solve and understand that unit okay so we will first discuss the syllabus then we will uh, switch to the previous or questions that is our agenda and the objective of the today's session comparative politics nature and scope issue in comparative politics parliamentary and presidential unitary and federal that means federal system of uh, political system and indirect system of political system constitutionalism its meaning and challenges uh, rule of law separation of the power of division of the power okay centralization decentralization okay decentralization form of the government so these are the constitutionalisms okay that means it is a political ideology which talks the government and state how should rule then british political system uh, convention and rule of law okay 
parliamentary government uh, that crown parliament and cabinet okay us political system uh, within that we discuss the separation of the power check and balance okay uh, president congress senate and house of the representative that means uh, their the uh, parliament consists with the congress uh, or their parliament known as the congress like in india uh, we call our the central legislation legislature as a parliament but in usa their central legislation is called congress that consists to the senate and house of representative supreme court judicial review all the things are mentioned in our syllabus then swiss political system that means switzerland the direct direct, direct democracy the different uh, uh, feature related to direct democracy federal council federal assembly and federal tribunal okay these are concept are or the legislations or the uh, these major thing are covered in the swiss political system then chinese political system like democratic centralism national people's congress national people congress like our central legislation like parliament their central legislation is in national people's congress then presidents people's republic of china then state councils okay then moving to the last not the least our syllabus party system in uk us and china okay so these are the overall syllabus of our comparative government and politics you will ask sir you are just like reading in a single go don't worry each and every your point bullet point of this unit is going to be discussed in our separate classes in upcoming classes so we will discuss in depth each and everything for our examination okay so now the quickly i, I did read now i will go to the question of the uh, basically with respect to uh, this unit they have already asked and on the basis of that we will analyze we will interpret and we will be study yes guys i know you all are the knowledgeable candidate you know each and every question answer but we are here the purpose of our here to discuss the pattern of question to understand what is the question asking how they ask what the basically essence of the questions okay we, we need to understand until unless we are not understanding a question then we have our preparation or the hard working is not going to pay off okay each and everyone is preparing but few of us crack the examination why why because our preparation should be according to the need and requirement of the examinations we should understand the examination whether it is a pgt tgt or upsc examination we have to understand the need of the examination the requirement of the examination what the examiner want from our side if he will understand that thing the pattern of the question then there our half of work is okay because we know what to study how to study how the question frame then okay otherwise you will only ratification and do the hard labor and nothing is going to in your hand so that the objective of the today sessions which i am going to help as much as possible and you guys also can participate and tell that sir this is the question where the basically frames why they basically ask this questions why what question can be uh, expected in upcoming uh, sessions if they ask this question now so let's start so first question who was the first prime minister of the great britain okay if you are not able to provide answer then don't worry we are just analyzing the paper so option a spencer crofton d robert walpole c william uh, cavendish and d william pitt so what is the answer so answer of this question obviously option b this is the option b not d okay so it is the robert walpole is the first prime minister of the great britain so this question is about what this question is about uk okay from uk that kind of question they ask moving to the next so in the context of british political system which one is below is correct so option a there is a popular sovereignty b there is a constitutional sovereignty c there is a parliamentary sovereignty d there is a british system or pro sovereign one so what is the answer of this question in british political system there is a what there is a parliamentary sovereignty okay we will discuss but first we need to understand what is what is the parliamentary sovereignty in britain okay so that is the main things here then moving to the next uh, 
which constitution of Switzerland is in operation now? Op option A, constitution of 1848, B, constitution of 1801, C, constitution of 1808, and so on so that. But the answer of this question is basically 1899. I think the option which is taken by me, mistakenly taken, but you have to understand the answer of this question, the constitution of Switzerland is operation in 1899, okay? that we need to be understand here and what the uh, basically rational before this question because they are trying to know uh, the evolution of the Switzerland uh, constitutions its uh, rule law regulations development of the rule and of law in the Switzerland uh, that is the main aspect and we will chronological discuss in our upcoming sessions then what is the land segment in the Swiss systems uh, I unable to pronounce this word okay okay so uh, so like uh, this word uh, it is what it's uh, act of uh, cultural festival and federal council public open ballot voting or name of the Swiss so answer of this question is C the op public open ballot uh, voting public open ballot voting that lands cement is means what public open ballot uh, voting okay so what does it mean so in switzerland there are different uh, uh, feature of the direct democracy and different key term related to the uh, the switzerland so that we need to focus similarly we can cover in usa the key term uh, in upcoming session we will discuss filibustering in china there is a key term democratic centralism people's uh, republic uh, congress uh, something like so different constitution have a different key term or feature with respect to their way for governing with that need to focus then moving to the next chinese constitution has been promulgated many times identify the proper sequence of the formulation as i mentioned you that the constitution of each and every uh, country has been uh, developed in different point of time and that need to focus so the correct answer of for this question let me provide you the b so 1954 75 and 78 and 82 so this is the sequence of development of the chinese uh, constitution okay okay so that 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 the important thing this will they ask and we have to understand each and every uh, like be it your china be it your switzerland be it your usa be it your uk we have to understand the development of the its uh, constitutions and the framework and the amendment to it moving to the next identify the proper character of the chinese states so answer of this question is united with a special administrative region option c okay so chinese is a unitary uh, form of the states as a, our mention in syllabus the unitary and federal form of the political system so you need to understand which state comes under which uh, under the political system that is the main objective here and see how can we prepare we can prepare i will tell you uh, okay briefly let to know that we have to compare each and every political system with respect to our current uh, regulating political system like we have a legislature we have a executive we have a judiciary we have a election uh, systems we have a election commission of india okay different thing we have in comparison to other in comparison to with we have to discuss the other political system and that will be helpful to you to cover most of the thing moving to the next the it's not uh, related to you can skip it uh, this is the pair of author and their work and we need to find the incorrect one okay so uh, that is how related to the uh, work and author with respect to the constitutionalism and uh, uh, comparative politics we can include uh, but the answer of this question is see we will cover this thing you know on another session then question number eight which style of uh, politics was introduced by the british prime minister margaret thatcher in britain so option a conviction politics friction politics aggressive politics and soft politics uh, to be honest uh, i don't know properly this answer i i have a Search too much but not get the its answer but if you know you can send me in my telegram id i will try to address this question because i don't want to make uh, any wrong comment on these questions moving to the next 
which article of the US Constitution ensured the separation of the power as mentioned in the our syllabus on USA and separation of power so its answer article 1 2 3 so C is answer what we understand from here we have to understand uh, the articles with respect to USA the amendment with respect to USA the legislative process in the USA the China the UK and so called Switzerland that you need to remember from here like we have an article we have an article similarly we have an amendment we have a schedule in regard to that what are the things mentioned in our other which are famous in nature that we have to understand then moving to the next uh, how can a debate be brought to an end in US Senate so these are the option uh, but uh, this this thing uh, basically highlights here see our object is something not to like uh, provide the answer key you hope you all know the answer but the thing is that we have to understand what we need to study because you are going to uh, resume our uh, going to start our discussion with comparative politics and government as mentioned in our syllabus but what the thing we have to study from there there is a river of knowledge with respect to the syllabus but we need to limitize with the in the limited times within the limited effort which is going to maximize our result so here they basically try to want the uh, the senate as upper house of the usa uh, the debate the process the legislations so that need to cover but unfortunately i also not uh, very know about that answer there is no proper answer key of in your like versus website uh, so unfortunately i not know the answer if you know you can provide but one thing that i can guarantee you in the upcoming session when we will going to cover usa i will definitely address this question and will cover in our theory session that i can assure you okay moving to the next under which amendment the constitution no person can be elected as a president of the united states for a third term okay what is the answer so answer of this question option c the 2022 amendment okay so i am telling to you my memory you can check it still but as i said we need to cover the important amendment with respect to usa okay detail uh, in our upcoming sessions okay in this session few of the questions cannot be addressed by me or maybe something wrongly uh, uh, like commenting by me but you need to be recheck and i will try to address this thing in our upcoming session because we are now not covering we will covering this thing in our upcoming session moving to the next uh, what are the name of the two houses of the british parliament okay so a house of white and house of troy house of representative house of senate house of conservative and house of progressive and house of lords and house of commons it's very easy question so this is for britain and this is for the usa as i mentioned there uh, basically the different like uh, legislative house like we have a uh, like uh, rajya sabha and lok sabha upper house and lower house lower house is lok sabha upper house is rajya sabha similarly usa they have a representative uh, and the house of representative and senate and in uk they have a house of lord and a house of commons so we need to cover in comparison basis because it is all about comparative politics going to the next which are the major political party in united states so a people's federal party and democratic party uh, then uh, the democratic party and labor party uh, then conservative party and liberal party and republican party and the democratic party so answer of this question is option d what we notice now you have to understand the political party in usa political party in uk okay that you need to cover moving to the next under which prime ministership it's not related to the comparative politics you can skip it then when was the swiss federal tribunal established see there we discuss the swiss federal council now this is the swiss federal tribunal as you mentioned in your syllabus swiss federal council swiss federal tribunal so swiss federal tribunal in the year of 1848 option d is answer so we need to understand that uh, the different body of different uh, uh, political system in different country their revolution their year of origin and that is need to cover uh, with respect to that okay that is the essence of your then moving to the next who elect the president of people republic china obviously it's in the basically uh, national people congress there is questions moving to the next 
देन व्हाट इज द कंपोजिशन ऑफ फेडरल काउंसिल इन स्विट्जरलैंड सो इट इज सेवन मेंबर एजुकेटिव बॉडी और इट्स ए पूरल बेसिकली एजुकेटिव बॉडी दैट यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर हियर सो फ्रॉम फेडरल काउंसिल ऑफ स्विट्जरलैंड इफ दे आस्ट द क्वेश्चन कंपोजिशन सो वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंपोजिशन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी द लेजिस्लेटिव और द रूल मेकिंग रूल मेकिंग बॉडी ऑफ यू एस ए द चाइना द यू के एज मैं सिलेबस मूवी टू द नेक्स्ट हाउ मेनी हाउ कैन द नेशनल पीपुल कंग्रेस ऑफ पीपुल रिपब्लिक चाइना अमेंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो लाइक वी हैव लाइक द अमेंडमेंट प्रोसेस इन द इंडिया सिमिलर देर इज अमेंडमेंट प्रोसेस इन द ऑल्सो द चाइना और ऑल्सो द यू एस ए एंड ऑल्सो द यू के एंड दैट वी नीड टू कवर इथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दैट from here we can notice one thing that uh, the examiner trying to know that we should know the process of legislative process of law making the evolution of their political systems uh, of the country like usa uk china okay because we all know the how india evolve and how its past has been uh, come out to the future so similarly you need to the other things that is the examiner trying to know from here side okay so if you know the answer you can provide the answer in comment section okay so sometimes you need to also participate but i will tell the answer in our upcoming sessions when we cover the china then uh, what is the term of national council in switzerland so what is the term of the national council of switzerland so they also ask like in our rajya sabha the term there is infinite okay but uh, the basically two third major of uh, the member is basically removed every third year बट राज्यसभा इज बेसिकली इनफिनिट नॉट डिजल्व बट लोकसभा इज फाइव इयर्स सिमिलरली वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म एंड पीरियड ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी द हाउसेस ऑफ द कंट्री लाइक यू एस एके एंड द स्विटरलैंड ओके दैट वी विल कवर इन आवर अपकमिंग सेसन बट इफ यू नो द आंसर यू कैन प्रोवाइड बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू प्रोवाइड द आंसर हियर द क्लियरिटी इज नॉट टू मी सो आई विल ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड इन द अपकमिंग सेसन वेन यू कवर द स्विटरलैंड then in which year the us supreme court first exercised its power of judicial review so it is the 1803 okay we all know judicial review first time exercised in usa that is the marbury versus madison okay the marbury my spelling is not good versus madison try to manage it madison केस ओके मार्बर भाइसेस मैडिसन केस मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट द स्विस एजुकेटिव इज नोन एज व्हाट इट्स ए प्लूरल एजुकेटिव द सेवन मेंबर बॉडी हैव आई ऑलरेडी सेड सो यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर इन दैट वे मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्री हैज अ सेपरेट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फॉर ईच स्टेट ऑब्वियसली इट्स आंसर यूएसए बिकॉज यूएस हैज अ 50 स्टेट एंड ईच एंड एवरी स्टेट हैज अ इट्स ओन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ओके सो दैट इज द यूनिक फीचर ऑफ यूएसए एंड वन मोर थिंग यू नीड टू वन एवर कवर एनी टॉपिक वी नीड टू कवर द स्पेशल विथ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रोविजन ऑफ द एवरी कंट्री वी नीड टू कवर यूनिक पोर्सन और यूनिक पार्ट ऑफ दैट कंट्री ओके देन हुई चम फॉलोइंग इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द अमेरिकन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रैक्टिस सो पॉकेट भिटो कलेक्ट रेस्पनसबिलिटी सेनेटोरियाल कटेसीयन फिलिप हस्टिंग सो आंसर इज अपसन बी सो कलेक्टिव रेस्पनसबिलिटी आर नट देर इन द यू एस ए कन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रैक्टिस बट इन आवर केस देर इज ए कलेक्टिव रेस्पनसबिलिटी बट दे हैव ए पकेट भिटो दे हैव अ सेनेटोरियाल कटोसी दे हैव अ फिलिप हस्टरिंग ओके फिलिप हस्टरिंग मीन्स व्हाट ना डिलेइंग इन भोट ओके डिलेइंग इन भोट मीन्स ना गोईंग लाइक प्रोवाइडिंग टू मच स्पीच बट नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग द कम टू द पोजिशन ऑफ द भोट ओके दैट इज फिलिप स्टरिंग ओके सो क्वालिटी रेस्पनसिबिलिटी इज नट रिलेटेड टू द अमेरिका सो नीट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सी द कन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रैक्टिस ऑफ इफ एन एवरी कंट्रीज इट्स फ्यूचर इट्स एलिमेंट्स वी नीड टू कवर वी टू द नेक्स्ट हुई चम द फॉलोइंग द फ्यूचर ऑफ अ प्रेसिडेंशियल गवर्नमेंट ओबियसली द आंसर इज द स्टाबिलिटी ओके स्टाबिलिटी इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंशियल गवर्नमेंट मुविंग टू द नेक्स्ट ए मेंबर ऑफ द अमेरिकन कैबिनेट इज अपॉइंटेड बाय ओबियसली प्रेसिडेंट ओके प्रेसिडेंट द वन हु बेसिकली अपॉइंटेड सिमिलरली इन आवर बेसिकली व्हाट द इंडिया द मिनिस्टर अपॉइंटेड बाय द प्रेसिडेंट अंडर द एट एंड एडवाइज ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ओके हेडेड बाय द काउंसिल मिनिस्टर वी आर अंडर ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज व्हाट द जॉब सेज इट इज सेड बाय जुडिशरी ऑफ 
USA. Yes, the USA judiciary are the one who basically uh, the powerful and that statement belongs to the USA. That is the unique portion we have to understand as I mentioned. You need to cover the unique thing with respect to each and every constitution. Then, de jure sovereignty in English reside with whom? So, we have to understand what is de jure and what is de facto. In the legal legal language, there is two concepts, de jure and de facto. De jure, your nominal authority and de facto, your educate, the real authority. De jure and de facto. Yes, in Indian context, what is the example of de jure? Your president is the example of de jure who has a nominal authority. But the de facto, the real authority or the real executive, like we know, the prime minister is the real executive or the de facto authority. Okay, that is how the de jure and de facto. The question is the de jure sovereignty in English reside in queen of the parliament. The queen of parliament is nominal nominal head that means d0 so this word need to remember moving to the next the key word key term need to remember because we have a this kind of system and what is the system in other state that we need to understand moving to the next the national parliamentary body of china is known as what national parliament it's national people congress like we have our parliamentary our uh, central legislature known as a parliament similarly in usa central legislature is known as a senate sorry my mistake congress so in the uk that is in the china that is known as national people congress okay so that need to cover uh, they read the following statement and identify the which of the following is correct so usa federal system is known as the strong center with a strong state uh, senatorial courtesy is a long-standing unwritten unofficial and non-binding constitutional uh, convention in usa the best known power of us supreme court is doctrine of the judicial review established in a the case of Marbury versus Madison in 1803. So see, the all the option is correct. If you if you if you if you notice, this paper are of 2023 year PGT, PGT paper. Okay, PGT political science. But each and every the point of this question already asked in individual question. Like they have already asked the judicial review 1803. Marbury Madison case, a individual question. Like they have already asked the question, senatorial courtesy, the element of uh, the USA, which one the following is not feature of the USA. So now the examiner are quite interesting to frame the question on basis of comprehensive manner. They are attaching each and every elements of the different uh, the individual already asked questions. So we need to prepare in such a way that we can tackle each and every question. That's why we require the concept clarity. And that can be done only through our YouTube video. Hope you will agree this point and don't dare to miss any video. That I will request to all of you. If you really want your good result and this time you will clear, clear this examination, you have to stay with us. Moving to the next. The U.S. Constitution is the first written one from which year the U.S. Constitution became effective. So it is option C, 1789. Like they asked the question in Switzerland, they asked the question in China. So this is how USA. So you need to cover the evolution, the timeline of each and every constitution. Moving to the next. There are two types of the sovereign state, unitary and federal. Out of 193 member states of UN, how many states are unitary? In nature so they are asking the number of united states the number of uh, basically federal state but the answer of this question option d that is united states so there are how many member in un 193 and out of 193 166 are the unitary and they can ask the question which are the what is the federal number of the state in the world out of 193 that can be asked so simply need to subtract the 166 from 193 Simply you can get. Simply you can get. Then what is the answer? Then what is the answer? Answer will be 57. So 57 states are the federal in nature. That's easy question. Going to the next. Eurocentrism. Eurocentrism means what? The concept Eurocentrism in comparative politics deals with the answer of this question. It presumes the superiority and universal applicability of Western 
institution and value so eurocentrism promote the western value they believe the western problem is the world problem they believe the western solution is the solution to each and every problem of the world that is how eurocentrism idea it's a concept we need to understand that things okay most of time you have to understand the few, few key concept key term key word with respect to comparative politics that's became important moving to the next the uk the citizen chapter was introduced under which government so it is the option john major option c in 1991 okay so 1991 john major can be asked the year basically introduced the citizen chapter so that is you have to remember here then moving to the next currently the british conservative party in power and labor party in the basically major opposite party after them which political party enjoyed the third position in the British House of the Common? So, answer of this question is Scottish National Party. Okay, option B. Okay, so what we notice? Because, see, uh, in our India, the major political party, if I talk about BJP and Indian National Congress, and as a political science student, we need to understand the political party which is scoring the number one seats, number second seats, and number third. Similarly, we need to cover also the other. Uh, state which are mentioned in our syllabus especially like USA, UK, uh, then your China, uh, Switzerland with respect to the political party who forming the government opposition and it's uh, the third number party that we need to remember from our exam point of view. Moving to the next, identify the wrong one, okay. Identify the wrong one. Uh, in respect to Swiss Federal Council which uh, one, okay, it, it's you can ignore this is not uh, with respect to our this question, okay. So it is inaccurately basically printed here. I didn't find the wrong one. So government of PRC is unitary. Marxist Leninist one party authoritarianism correct. State council in PRC is executive body correct. Deng era initiated the market socialism. Okay. So option B is the correct. Basically all are the correct answer here. Okay. So it is uh, the basically uh, the PGT paper if I am not wrong it's the paper of PGT 2023 and it's a comprehensive paper with respect to China uh, uh, our SSB also has that thing and each and every cycle or year they are not uh, want to miss the China because China is always important uh, from geopolitical uh, important from India from geopolitical point of view and we should to at least know the political system of China because it is very very important for us our examination. Moving to the next in respect of Swiss Federal Council which one is incorrect observation. It is a plural executive correct. It has six members. No, as I discussed it's a seven member. It's not the six member. It's not the six member. It's not the six member. It's the seven member. And the origin of a council was uh, 1848 the origin of council 1848 but operation is basically 1899 1899 and it is the federal cabinet of the confederation yes it's the federal cabinet of the conference see how they frame the question they are trying to attach with the help of individual asked question because this thing is already asked because this thing is already asked now the question are how they frame the question they are also human how they can frame the question they are taking the question from here individually asked already question and they make a comprehensive question that is how they are doing it so you need to understand that things okay so seven member not the six member and it is a plural executive and it started in 1848 okay this question is already framed in a four different question now they are combined and make a new question here that can expected in our examination okay then landsman is the related to which country okay it's related to switzerland okay like they already asked the question it means what it's related to which country then can they ask the question in a comprehensive manner so that is the examiner is doing they are not not making any kind of rocket science but we need to understand how they make the questions what is the rationale before making the question that is how the things here then filibustering this is already asked like which of the following is a feature of uh, the us are not now they ask the question, the filibuster means what? The length means what? So I might be like doing wrong here pronouncing, but you need to understand the essence of these things. So filibuster means what? Like basically delay in vote, okay? And delay in vote. 
delay in vote okay delay in vote okay so that means like you are doing too much debate and uh, speech and different thing but you are not going for vote that is filibustering call as the delay in vote okay okay hey guys we finally discussed all the previous question with respect to comparative politics i hope you get the little essence of uh, our session like the objective uh, how the question frame what is the rational before uh, framing the different question and what is the main thing how we should prepare because it is a river of knowledge comparative politics are two most things okay so we have to study not for the like only for knowledge perspective but you have to study uh, for our examination because our main objective to crack the examination to crack the questions that will be helpful to us in our career building so on this note let's understand the few of a point which i am i have understand personally and i will try to cover this thing in our upcoming session so special focus on usa uk china switzerland political system with respect to comparative politics i have to stick to the point usa uk china switzerland political systems their evolutions process of the political system i need to cover we need to cover each and every constitution and its evolution how it starts when it starts what is the different uh, times it has been amended okay 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 and what is the feature of its political systems how it is different from india how it is similar to india in that way we will cover maximum things which can be asked in your examination then we need to compare the structure of indian political system with other i we have to compare the political system of india with other then we can cover because a lot of thing are there in the other constitution but what is important for examination we have to compare this thing our india what is the similarity what is our difference then you can cover like with respect to proceedings of house the key term as you discuss filibustering lame sense different thing then amendment special to the usa article special to the usa okay that we need to cover okay that is the special focus which i will try to cover maximum theme in our upcoming video uh, and hope you will agree with this point then where i will collect this information because if you notice to me most of things uh, i did not uh, provide the answer in this session because i don't know and i don't want to provide wrong answer here and for that i need to comprehensively read about this special to the comparative politics and i will follow the source here like uh, yt video free of a reported yt video okay i also refer yt video to collect the data and epg patsala from each bit epg patsala we can uh, collect the information from with respect to this topic then also jostor jostor is a international uh, reputed uh, research uh, stored article in which it available different uh, uh articles different uh, uh, journal uh, uh, research article with respect to the comparative politics there i can get a authenticated source and data okay that is the source which i will follow uh, for you guys to provide a good content and good clarity with this note okay so this is all about from my side hope you will understands and agree with uh, my analysis of the comparative politics and this is all about uh, uh, for this sessions and uh, if you like our effort do subscribe and do share with your friend and do join our telegram id there you will get different pdf free note and so and so things thank you guys thank you thank you so much for being part of this lesson thank you